Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here from the Mayhem Prone Show, where today? As you can see from my upload schedule, I've been having trouble coming up with theories this year. It just feels like the last two seasons haven't had as much content for making theories. This is unfortunate, but it does have one upside. It is incredibly satisfying when I find something really cool. So today, I'd like to show you my theory that Star Swirled is actually Stygian. So our story starts a thousand years ago. Stygian forms the Pillars of Equestria in order to defend the land from monsters and evil. Later, Stygian tries to copy the Pillars artifacts to gain more power, but is misunderstood and cast out from the group. The newly embittered Stygian becomes the Pony of Shadows and attempts to destroy the Pillars. This is only resolved when Star Swirl sends all of them into limbo. A thousand years later, Twilight and her friends free the Pillars, and in the end, they defeat the Pony of Shadows and reform Stygian. Now this is where we enter speculation, because this is what I believe is going to happen in upcoming seasons. Now that Stygian is reformed, he will most likely go back to what he was doing before he turned evil, which was pursuing great power. I think that Stygian still wants to become a pillar, so he's going to do anything that he can to become a better sorcerer. Over years of practice, he will get a lot stronger, even coming close to the power of Star Swirl. And eventually, Stygian will invent his own version of the time spell. Upon testing this spell, Stygian will accidentally throw himself way into the past, probably a couple years before the pillars were even formed. In the past, this older and wiser Stygian will have a realization. Wait, what? I was Star Swirl the whole time? What? So basically, the Star Swirl that we know and love is actually just an older version of Stygian who had gone back in time. Now this may sound a little far-fetched, but it actually works really well. My biggest problem with Star Swirl over the years is that he made no sense. He lived a thousand years ago, and yet his spells were extremely cutting edge even in the present. That's the equivalent of saying that Leonardo da Vinci knows more about flying than a modern aerospace engineer. It simply isn't true. Leonardo da Vinci was a genius for his time, but over the course of several centuries we've learned so much more about flying that if Leonardo da Vinci was brought into the present, he would know practically nothing about the topic. Like it or not, if you just brought Leonardo da Vinci into the present, he couldn't just instantly deduce how every function of a 747 works. So by this logic, Star Swirl should have been an innovator for his time, but the second he came into the present, he would be practically defenseless against a millennia's worth of magic advancements. But the thing is, in the present, he is still absurdly powerful. That doesn't make sense, unless Stygian becomes Star Swirl. Since Stygian lived in the present for several years, he would have learned all of the modern magic, and the second he brought that back to the past, he would be pretty much the strongest unicorn in the entire world. That would be the equivalent of Leonardo da Vinci coming home in a 747. But this theory also explains Star Swirl's personality. Star Swirl comes off as ignorant due to the fact that he banishes Stygian without giving him a chance to explain himself, and he is so determined to destroy the Pony of Shadows that he won't even consider conversation. This makes so much sense if you consider that Stygian is Star Swirl. Stygian knows that his younger self has to become the Pony of Shadows, and he has to be saved by Starlight and Twilight, or else the entire timeline will be altered. If Stygian never becomes the Pony of Shadows, the element of harmony will never be created, which means Equestria will be completely destroyed by Discord, then Nightmare Moon, then Discord again, and Chrysalis, and Sombra, and Tyrak. There's a lot of villains in this world. So basically, if the timeline changes, everyone's doomed. So Star Swirl is extremely serious to push the characters in the right direction to prevent the world's destruction. And finally, haven't you noticed that Stygian and Star Swirl look practically identical? First of all, they both have the slender male body type. This is surprisingly rare. Most males either have the generic body type, like Flash Century and Flash Magnus, or they have a much bigger and muscular design, like Big Mac in Shining Armor. In fact, the only other characters I can think of from the show with the slender male body type are the Flim Flam Brothers and Zephyr Breeze. It's really rare. In addition, their coat colors are both gray. Now, gray isn't super rare in Equestria with ponies like Derpy Hooves having it, but it certainly isn't the most common color around. 
Now they have different main colors, but it makes sense that Stygian's mane will turn white over the years because that's just a byproduct of aging, so their manes are compatible. Oh, but what about eye color? Well, Stygian has blue eyes, and Star's World has always been shown to have yellow eyes. Huh. But wait, in this episode, they specifically changed his design so that he has blue eyes! In conclusion, this theory has a ton of evidence. It makes the world more coherent, it gives the characters more motivation, and it makes the similar designs make tons of sense. Most of my theories I accept will most likely be disproven or will never occur, but this is one of the few times when I think my theory may actually be what they're planning. But what do you think? Is it possible that Star Swirl is an older version of Stygian who went back in time? Tell me in the comment sections down below. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show, and goodbye!